Welcome to our Basel II training program. Today we are going to discuss Basel II and operational risk. We are going to, to take you through a journey explaining the operational risk and Basel II requirements in a step-by-step -step process. First, we will define what is operational risk capital charge. The operational risk capital charge represents the amount of capital that a bank should maintain as a caution against losses arising from operational risks. And under Basel II, the calculation of this charge and the management of operational risk is ensured through three mutually reinforcing pillars. These are Basel II three pillars. Let's briefly see the role of each pillar. Pillar number one, the calculation of operational risk capital charge. In this pillar, Basel is setting all the principle or the procedure, all the calculation method that the bank should take in order to maintain adequate capital to face its operational risk and the loss resulting from its operational risk. Pillar two is about the supervisory review of adequacy of capital charge. Here, the supervisor are required to review the adequacy of capital charge maintained by the bank against operational risks. And supervisor may have to make sure that the bank are using the appropriate method of calculation. Pillar 3 is about disclosure relating to operational risk management. Basel want to make sure that all banks are disclosing information in a sufficient and effective way. My dear, since we agreed that we are going to discuss Basel II in a step-by-step -step process, so now we are going to talk a little bit more about Pillar 1. Under Pillar 1, the capital charge for operational risk is calculated using one or more of the following three approaches. These approaches are 1. Basic Indicator Approach 2. A standardized approach. Three, advanced measurement approach. My dear, in the basic indicator approach and the standardized approach, the capital charge for operational risk is calculated based on specific guidance and factor provided by Basel II. However, under the advanced measurement approach, the calculation is based on the bank's internal loss estimates within a framework acceptable to the supervisor. My friend, keep in your mind that as bank move from the simple to the more advanced approach, the operational risk capital charge will be better aligned to the operational risk exposure of the bank. We are basically saying here that increasing sophistication of the approach by moving from basic indicator approach to standardized approach to advanced measurement approach will lead to better alignment of capital charge with the risk profile. Operational risk capital charge and regulatory capital. The operational risk capital charge is part of the overall capital charge under Basel II. The regulatory capital formula includes charge for credit risk, operational risk, and market risk, and is expressed as follow. My dear, at this stage, I just want you to be familiar with the following equation. So don't get panic. It's an easy equation. We are going to explain it in more detail later on. The operational risk capital charge is first calculated using the appropriate approach under Basel II. It is then converted into a risk-weighted asset equivalent by multiplying the charge by 12.5, which represents the reciprocal of the minimum capital ratio of 8%, and adding the result to the total risk-weighted asset for credit risk. My dears, as I always say that learning always can be fun. So try to have fun while you are learning 